All right, so let's take a look at how we can create a moving platform. So to do this, what we'll need is a actual platform. Now let's take a look at my setup here. So here in my platform, I just have a static body as my base. I've added a tile uh, mesh instance, right, to represent the uh, thing, which is just a basic block, right? You can kind of use whatever you'd like. Uh, I used a collision or I made a collision shape. But now if you're wondering how to make a uh, really accurate one like this, if you just click the mesh on the top, create collision shape and just create uh, hit create, you will get this exact same thing that I got. Now we have two options and I have the raycast as kind of a option if in a sense. Now raycast could work, but I want you to kind of think about what is the problem if we tried using a raycast. Now the problem, and I'll kind of give it to you, is when I use a raycast here, it could work. It could definitely work. In fact, here we have the raycast pointing, right? And we'll just switch the direction of the platform depending on if the raycast hit. But there's a problem. The problem is that this floor is not thick enough to hit this raycast. And I would need that raycast to be on this exact point. And of course you could do that, uh, but I'm lazy and I'm not going to do that. So instead, a alternative, uh, I will say a better alternative, is to use a Area 3D. So here I've given it a collision shape of a box and I've simply set the area to be slightly outwards to where the collision is. All right, so that's pretty much it for our setup. Now for our Area 3D, I'm just going to connect our signal here to body entered. And in our script, let's take a look at what we have. So here to move this, all we need to do is give it a speed and direction. And all I need to do to actually move the platform in a direction is to say self.position. And then we can say self.x or dot y. Or I mean, if you wanted to move z up and down, that's also an option. Um, and then we'll just move it in that direction, right? Now uh, to switch it, it's actually quite easy to switch the direction. I'll simply check to see if I touch a floor. And if I do, I will simply switch the direction by saying direction is equal to minus direction. Now to rotate for the uh, weekly challenge as well, right? Because the weekly challenge was to rotate or use positions to use this, right? You can also just say self.rotate on the Z axis. And this, uh, we'll see what this looks like. Now, when you hit play, we now have a platform here that is rotating on the Z axis and, you know, it's going to hit the wall eventually. So if I take this out, I wonder if I can actually jump on the platform. So let's take a look. OK, that's the wrong scene here. Let's see if I can jump onto the platform. I should be able to jump. Oops, I think I missed it. All right. Well, Either way, that's generally how you would uh, create a moving platform. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, do subscribe to my email list down below for weekly challenges. Uh, this was part of the weekly set challenge on Sunday. Um, so hopefully this helped. Hopefully this challenge was fun. Um, I think it's a bit interesting to see the difference between 2D and 3D scenes. So this week was a 3D platform moving, right? Um, sometimes we'll do 2D, sometimes we'll do 3D, just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, and if you guys just enjoy this video in general, just hit the subscribe button down below and do leave a comment and like the video. All right, I'll see you all in the future, hopefully.